Hello, friends of the internet. Um, this is gonna be this is gonna be a rather difficult um, video to record. Um, so this is behind the curtain. Um, this is something usually get out of here, fly. Um, that I record for patrons. This is usually something that is only for patrons and patrons alone. Um, it's a behind the scenes look at what's going on on my Patreon, behind the scenes at um, Austin B Media, and just about everywhere else uh, having to do with the business. Um, if you're wondering why I'm so low energy today, it's I have to address something that's heavy on my heart and heavy on my mind. Um, I so it's the first of the month, um, which means patron payouts are. Uh, coming out, and whew, um, I don't like what I'm seeing. Um, I, I don't like a trend I'm seeing, so I wanted to talk about it on on camera. Uh, I I was originally going to do this as an Instagram story. I had it all recorded and everything, but I think it's better if I recorded more of a long form sort of thing about this. Um, so three trends I'm seeing. Um, one, I'm seeing a lot of declines on my patrons, uh, Patreon, uh, where, um, sorry if you just saw a fly. Um, basically, what a decline is, is it's when a patron just, their card is expired or... Um, doesn't have enough money on it, and you see, I, I, I've been pr pretty passive about this, um, but as I understand it, every time a patron a patron gets declined, uh, that um, that ends up being a big thing for my Patreon. Um, I've heard rumors where. Um, it Patreon kind of demotes um, your your uh, page in the search results for a little bit a after each decline. Um, so it's always in my best interest to make sure that you, you uh, patrons, potential or otherwise, um, who are on the who are getting declined, um, just. Um, we solve that as soon as possible. I do this through uh, Patreon messages, and a lot of the time I don't get a message back. Um, I'm, I'm, so what I'm going to try and do is Patreon it, uh, collects email addresses. So I'm going to be a little more aggressive about this because this is my livelihood. Um, Patreon is where I make all of my money. Uh, I don't make anything off ads, or at least nothing I can cash out yet. Um, I don't make anything off of, um, yeah, I don't, I don't make anything from any, any, any source else, which is why I've been so hard about getting new income sources. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I'm going to start emailing those who get declined, um, and I, I hope that's not an intrusion, intrusion of anyone's privacy. Um, I try and be really nice about it. Um, but some of these declines uh, have been happening for months. Uh, and I've tried and tried um, to contact them via um, Patreon messages. Uh, they have a messaging uh, function in the, on Patreon. Um, and I always try and resolve it that way. But it's clearly not working. Um, so the next step is emailing them. Uh, and that's what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start emailing uh, the, the patrons who get declines because that's a bad look for me. Um, and if the rumors are true, uh, I get demoted on Patreon for that. Um, now I, it's a, just a rumor. So I don't know exactly how true it is, but e even still. Um, it's, it's something I got to deal with. Um, second 
trend I saw I I've, I've seen. Um, so, or at least a feedback I got today. Um, I got a patron um, said, "Hey, I'm getting overcharged," um, and I want to talk about that. So, if you ever uh, this is, goes back to the Patreon messages thing again. Um, if you ever feel like you're getting overcharged, please don't hesitate to contact me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon messages. Um, I will work with you uh, if you feel you're getting overcharged. I will refund your money if you feel you're getting overcharged. In fact, I, every time a patron comes um, subscribes after the first of the month, I make sure they know. I, I, in their welcome message, I say, hey, just wanted to let you know um, that since you joined on this day of the month, you will also get charged on the first of this next month. Uh, I'll, I'll, I tune that to like August if they joined in July. Uh, I tune that to July if they joined in June, so on and so forth. But I, it's something I always include in my welcome message to patrons. Because I think it's important that they know, hey, you're going to get charged twice in one month. Because I have um, heard patrons give me a lot of feedback about, hey, I don't like getting charged twice in one month. And I've had others that don't care. Um, they just want to support me. Um, but I, if you ever feel you're getting overcharged, please message me. Uh, it doesn't matter where. Um, at Austin B Media, a, a, everywhere but Twitter. Just add, a, add an underscore on Twitter. Um, and then obviously my Patreon, um, please use any of those message, message functions. I will make sure I do everything in my power to make sure you're not a, getting overcharged because that is the last, the last thing I want, want a patron to do is leave. Um, it, it, it's, it, it's not something I ever want. I don't want someone to feel like they need to leave my Patreon to stop subscribing to my Patreon uh, because they're getting charged twice. Now I know, now I know Patreon is changing this to an anniversary date. So say you joined on the 18th, um, you'll now get charged on the 18th, which makes things difficult for creators because then we have to kind of be on the lookout for um, for notifications about uh, all that, and we kind of have to restructure things, but that's besides the point. My overall point is I want to make sure that you, uh, potential, patrons and, potential patrons and existing patrons aren't getting overcharged. That's the, that's the I don't care if I have to, uh, as long as you're okay, I'm okay. Um, because I, I, I don't want anyone to feel like they need to leave because they're getting charged twice. Um, and to that effect, I wish um, the person who had left this feedback, I won't name names, um, because, well, Patreon didn't give me a name, uh, which is doubly frustrating. Um, and I just want to say, I would have refunded your money. I, I would have refunded it in a heartbeat, because I would rather use enjoy the content and then get overcharged. I, I, I would have preferred that. And I'm sorry you had to leave. I'm so sorry you felt like you had to leave. That's never, that's, that's that, that hurts me. And I know that's cliche to say, um, but it does hurt it, 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 because I feel accomplished when I get a new patron. I feel relieved because it, it's almost like a validation of my work, uh, of all the hard work I do. When I got um, three new patrons and then they left, that hurt. That hurt a lot because it made me feel like I wasn't doing enough, that I wasn't providing enough value, that I wasn't doing the right things. And I never want somebody to feel left out. 
it, it's not something I ever want. It's not something I, I ever hope. But, yeah, I, I hope you come back someday, whoever you are. Um, if you're watching this, um, I hope you come back. The three patrons, I hope you come back. I know why you joined, uh, probably for the High School Musical stuff. Um, but I'll, I'll have more High School Musical stuff. Um, it's not over. Um, I hope you come back. I, I really do. And then the third thing I want to address is somebody said in their exit survey, that in their feedback, that they gave all the money they intended to give. And I want to clear up this misconception about Patreon. I look at Patreon as a subscription. You are subscribing um, for exclusive content, for, um, for things you wouldn't get if you just went to austinb.media. Um, I do not look at it as a donation um, pool. I have a donation pool set up too, actually. Uh, I have Buy Me a Coffee. Um, I'll have the link in the description below uh, on the YouTube video. Um, and then I have a little donate button uh, on my website, austinb.media slash support. Um, I have a whole myriad of ways you can support me. And I wish that that person, whoever they were, um, would, would have contacted me. Uh, that, that, um, because I would rather somebody, you're going to hear this a lot in this behind the curtain thing, um, episode, whatever that you call this, um, that I wish people would just communicate with me before leaving. Um, because really, that's all I ask for is communication. Say, hey, uh, on the declines, like say, hey, I don't have the money this month. Then I would have said, hey, that's fine. Um, why don't you go ahead and cancel? And I'll be, be fine with that. You know, it, it would hurt, sure. Um, but I, I would feel better knowing that person, whoever they are, um, would have said, hey, would have reached out first before canceling. Um, so to that person, I want to let you know that there's, if you ever feel like giving a one-time donation again, um, go to austinb.media slash support, and you can do that as many times as you like. Um, I think you can even set up something recurring. I, I'm not quite sure off the top of my head. Um, and hey, if you're just in it for the high school musical commentaries or other commentaries, uh, feel free to just go to Austin. Uh, I have a shop link in my um, little navigation bar on the top of my uh, every page. Um, so just hit shop, um, and then uh, you, can, you can buy my commentaries there uh, if you ever just want to buy the commentaries, because it's yours forever after that. It's, I, I think that's how it works. Um, and, if you, and if it ever um, doesn't work that way, I can always provide you with MP3 um, as many times as you want. Um, because I, I, I keep all my commentaries on, on my computer. Uh, probably not a smart idea, but I have an external hard drive for that. So, um, it, in fact, I'll be moving some files today, but that's beside the point. If you ever want to give one time, one time, just go to Austin B Media slash support. Uh, Austin B dot media slash support, sorry. Um, and that, that'll give you all the ways you can support me once, or you can subscribe to my Patreon that way, too. Um, and I'm looking for more ways to um, bolster my Patreon so that it, it's more value-worthy. But anyways, I think that's all I have to say about um, the, the declines, the um, one-time donations, uh, um, and the cancellations. Um, but if you are a patron, um, please know. I know I've said this multiple times in this almost 15-minute video. Um, but please, 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 if you ever have a problem, come to me. If you ever, you know, if, if it, 
if you ever have a problem, come to me. And I'll make sure to set it right, even if that's refunding you your money for the month or, uh, or asking you to cancel or whatever it may be. I, I'd rather you do that than say, than, than not hear from you at all because that makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Um, but yeah, just that, that would be great. But that has been this episode of Behind the Curtain. Until next Monday, this is Austin Bowser signing off.